Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and for the last episode, we have been trying to get our dormitories up and running for our duplicates. We want to expand our living quarters and also try and move people out of the middle of the base so we don't have like two sets of atmosphere suit uh, checkpoints on the way. We just have the one set going in one direction. The last time we spent uh, time putting almost all of this hardware up and ready to go, but today we're going to have to start working on the utilities. You can see that we've got power system going into place over here, and over on this side I want to get the water flowing. So if we are going to start nice and strong in the utilities, I'm going to grab myself... Oh, it's not a utility, is it? It's a refinement Hang about. There we go, refinement. I'm going to grab the water sieve. I often think this should should be a utility but you know the game masters have spoken it is not a thing i'm gonna put it down that way around why not it's an unoccupied space it's not though because there's probably a plant here somewhere it's not just one plant turns out to be a proliferation proliferation of plants yeah that's a, that's a word that i didn't realize i was gonna have trouble with until i started sp saying it because we've got one two three four five different plants at the top here so i've got, gone and put in a big old dig order you can see that i've also started making the uh, tank underneath and then the tank down here i want to start talking to you guys about temperature regulation. So what's going to be happening is we want to get all the dirty water coming down and the first thing that happens is that we turn that into regular water. We're going to, then going to just literally dump that. Let me try and find the thing that I'm looking for. We're going to dump that literally just there. Beautiful, beautiful. It's going to drop down. It's going to come over here. It's going to spread out all across the bottom of the water, uh, bottom of the floor here. It's going to be beautiful. The next thing that I want to do is put a liquid pump down. I'm not sure whether we want to put it that side or this side. I think I'm going to go with, uh, in fact, about the middle. Okay, we'll go with that. The next next thing that I want to do is put a liquid shut off valve next to it. You might be like, what is this about? Well, let me tell you, I have some plans on how we're going to make this a nice self-regulating system. So I'm going to have the liquid shut off valve, a pump, we're going to put the thermo aqua tuner next to it. I then want to come into the plumbing here, and you can see down the bottom we've got a thermo sensor. That is that is sensing the temperature in the pipe that's going to run past it. We are indeed going to have a pipe running past it, and then I'm going to have a liquid shut off valve just over here. With the insulated pipe, I'm going to connect that and that, and then this to this. Okay, so the the, the the flow seems fairly obvious right now. We're pumping up the water, we're putting it in here, and we are heating up the water around. The next thing I want to do is to drag this pipe across here, and we're going to measure the temperature of the water coming out of this particular pipe right here. Now, this is maybe a little bit of the wrong way. I probably would actually like to do it from the temperature sensor here, but uh, this is the way that I've designed, so we're going to do it just like that. So once the temperature is the determined to not be cool enough, we're going to send it back around to the cooling thermo aqua tuner here before we eventually decide that actually it it is worth coming out and returning to the base. This should then be coming out at roughly, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it comes out at 15 degrees, but we'll see. Okay, we spent a whole cycle doing some construction, and I know it doesn't look like it down here, but that's because almost all of the uh, wiring up here has actually been put into place. You may have remembered at the beginning of the cycle, we had like uh, build orders coming all the way out here, out here, out here, and now it's just a few little bits in there. Still not got these bits done, and still not got this bit done, but you know, we are on our way. Another fleeing. Who keeps doing the fleas? Who are we fleeing from? I just don't know. Someone's getting into an angry fight, but it just doesn't look like they actually are. Bah. The only one even close to an animal is uh, is Jelly over here. Yeah, I just I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. I think this guy just took a swing at someone. I, th I think he might be the one that's doing the trouble. Let's uh, let's keep an eye on what's going on here. And maybe on his way past, the Dr. Captain Subs can show us what the problem is. Is he going to have a go? It doesn't look like he is. doesn't look like he is. I saw him do a sort of weird animation as the guys are walking past. We're going to just assume that this is all good for now. N no, you're not. In the middle of the toilet with nothing to flee from, it says you're fleeing. I, uh, I just, I don't, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. She's even taken damage, but there's nothing going on. Who are you fleeing from? There's got to be something weird going on with this lot up here. Again, again. No, Mimi, you're not fleeing. I don't. I just don't get it. This guy here, let's, let's just take him out. I think he's the problem. I think he's the problem. I think what's happening, and this is just wild conjecture, so don't take this as gospel, is uh, the duplicants are walking past, and this guy's trying to attack them, and then when they get to the end of wherever their errand is, they're like, oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm under attack! I think that's what's going on. So I'm just going to try try taking it out and see if that sort of stops our issues here. Stops our issues. All right, Miss Align coming in. She is the big bad girl in the in the base. She's pretty much the only one, I think, who is actually set to do some combat. Man, that gets loud if we uh, if we scan in too close. But let's watch it happening. Poke shell versus a building gun of wonder. I don't even know what these guns actually are, but isn't that amazing? We have a one. All right, I need to get a whole bunch of people in. 
uh, for getting fixed up because, you know, fights have happened and I'm not about that. Hopefully these guys aren't going to be out of action for too long, especially as they like, I believe they're fixing their uh, 75 per cycle. That is three quarters of their health every day. Should be no problem at all. Just to reiterate to you guys, this of course is my great hall that I'm building here and you can see it, the possible room types down the bottom, the great hall. All I'm missing is the decor item of plus 20. I've put in a whole bunch of this crown molding, so that is obviously not how it works. We just need to have this single item that is over 20, which I believe this marble block actually counts as. So once that's got finished, we will once again check the overlay. I'm not sure if the fact that this has got no power and no uh, liquid intake is causing a little bit of trouble. I'm not sure. We will have to check. It's taking a little bit longer to do this than I thought it would, so let's just speed up the build process here a little bit. I have asked the player, the uh, duplicates, sorry, to go ahead and do all the uh, wire connection over here. So uh, they'll be getting on with that while this is happening. And of course, now we go look at the room overlay. Yeah, we got a great haul. All right, nice. That's that's brilliant. That's wonderful. I mean, look, look at all the room setups here. This is beautiful. So we're now at the point where, other than this clock up here, all we need to do is build the drywall in the back here. But I've been watching Mr. Line go around and do some of these, and oh, it seems to be taking a while. I want to see what Mad Frank's up to, because he's the man who can do so very, very quickly. And I'm hoping that maybe these guys will just go around delivering stuff, whereas Mad Frank will be like par excellence just going around and building, because that would be absolutely beautiful. You can see how he's doing it very, very quickly. Uh, imagine that, but twice as long. Yeah, look, watch, watch Mimi go compared to Mad Frank here. Uh, it's a big, big time difference. I was kind of hoping people would just go around and do the delivery whilst Mad Frank would do the building. It's not the case, unfortunately, but, you know, it, it's all right. If everybody's working together, it must mean that we are going to get there uh, eventually, if not mo the most quick we can. Or, you know, downtime could happen. Well, I mean, anything like that. <laughs> oh, no, Miss is getting a little dig happy down below. I presume this is just because it was closer to her than any of the other jobs. But as you can see, she's taken out these tiles. These jobs up the top here are becoming unreachable, which means all of this is going to have to get built before we can actually get the power in line, uh, which, you know, that, that'll be OK. We, we don't actually we can't actually run the power until we get all the other materials in place. So I suppose it works out just about. Oh man, these drywalls take so long to build. I know there's only misaligned here at the moment, but we've got a crew of like four or five on it. We've got one room done. We're halfway through the cycle. We've got most of the way on the second, third room. But oh man, this this is taking time. Where, in fact, where has everybody got to? I think they're all over here picking up more materials. This is like a whole group of people. It's not a whole group of people. Where is everybody else? I literally just watched a whole bu a bunch of like a half a dozen or so scatter. Okay, is this everybody coming back together to then go uh, deliver some materials? It looks like the way that it is. But as I was saying... Oh my god, it's taking so long. Even with the bonuses that the light gives and the fact that uh, Mad Frank has bonuses to build, it, it still just takes forever. Hopefully we get to see how quickly Mad Frank... All right, okay, bye. I was going to say, uh, hopefully we get to see how quickly Mad Frank builds now, but um, no, he's just like, I'm going to get more more rock. I'll catch you guys later. Oh man, he's not even got high job priorities for, for um, supplying. I'm going to actually turn him down on that. Let's see if that helps, and then maybe he can just do the digging, then everybody else can do the supplying. I mean, misaligned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it seems to be going okay. Who is this? Shrouticus also quite down low. Uh, I'm actually going to go, actually, can Shrouticus be sort of neutral to uh, to delivering materials? And therefore, he should hopefully do it better, more, pro with higher priority, there we go, than um, Mad Frank or misaligned. And that's the end of that cycle. Three rooms down, two kind of got it started on. Uh, this is going to take a long, long time. Possibly four or five cycles. Okay, we're going to try putting everyone on neutral building who's not Mad Frank and see if that helps the situation. I kind of hope it does because then we're going to have a whole bunch of people just going around doing some uh, some delivering rather than doing the building. I mean, obviously, we've still got Mimi and Miss Align doing stuff. That's... Uh um, that was exactly the people I was kind of hoping would actually just get on with the delivering, but here we are, so we'll just have to live with what we got. All right, so I don't spend all my time just doing this. I'm going to put these down onto a six. I think that's a good good level there. And then I'm going to put these up to an eight. I'd like the power to get run into this area. In fact, this whole system here, I think we want up to eight, including this water over here. Now, I should explain what this water pipe is here. Now, of course, we're starting to build up a whole little, nice little uh, purification system down below. New printed the balls 
available. We'll go look at, at that after I've talked. Uh, so, well, yeah, we're building up a purification system down below. But, of course, we need water to kickstart the system. And if we follow this line all the way back here, we do, of course, have water coming out of this tank. This is coming out about 30 degrees, which is quite nice, actually, because it will give us a little bit of heat to kickstart the system going. We want to, of course, dump as much heat into the water down here as possible so we can kill as many germs as possible uh, and also bring this out about 20 degrees so we're keeping this whole area nice and chill at 20 degrees. I'm also wondering whether I want to make this line here ra uh, radiant so we can actually keep it all at 20 degrees but you know that's something for another day. Let's go and have a look at these printables over here. Obviously at some point very soon we're going to get to uh, choose some more actual duplicates but I'll take a balm lily seed. I don't know what to do with it. I mean I know what to do with it but we ain't going to use it. We've got enough balm lilies just kind of like growing wild. So we've got 11 cycles left on this dormant steam vent until it pops. And the reason that is relevant is we are slowly running out of oxygen in these uh, atmospheric suits here. Obviously, that is where they get their oxygen from. So it's uh, it's going to be something to keep an eye on, most definitely. Yeah, we are totally out. Mm. Mad Frank, Captain Subs, and Jelly have all worked themselves well into the night and didn't get them enough rest time for them. Even working into the work... Uh, sorry, sleeping into the work schedule. Uh, they are up doing stuff now, but come on, guys. That's late for work. You should try to go to bed earlier. Oh, could you also work the shift, shift later, please? Okay, we have uh, quite the work crew coming along and working on this front face here. We've got Misaline, we've got Forrest, we've got Mad Frank. Jelly was along doing a few deliveries a second ago, but he's got distracted. Same with um, Dr. Captain Subs down there. Getting very close to having all of this in place to start working on this over here. Oh, I hate that it's just to start working on this. Miss with an overzealous digging has kind of gone and got herself a little bit stranded here. I think actually what's going to happen is she's going to walk around the bottom. But we, we will see and find out. Oh, man, that edge of the screen kind of pushed me away. And I don't know if we're now following her or not. Let's try that again. Turns out that, yeah, we are indeed following. Is she going to continue working until the end of night i don't know or maybe she's just gonna hang there maybe, maybe she can't get home i, I kind of thought she could by going down this way but maybe not yeah she passed out there all right sorry <laughs> what what's wrong why can't she make it the the path seems aha somewhat clear to me but here's a break in it right here okay so we'll put down uh, i mean just a whole line of uh, ladder there will help all right that will that will connect the whole system up and then we should should have it so people don't end up getting stranded over there. In fact, I'm even going to put this down at super high priority. Got a feeling Miss Line's going to be having herself a bit of a, a bit of an accident soon. That's not going to be great because the only place that it actually uh, displays when she has an accident is when she gets to take her suit off. And that is not an ideal area to be dumping, like, infected liquids. Ah. Why are you... What are these being made out of? Oh, Ignis Rock. I've just watched her put down a whole bunch of granite over here, being like, hey, sure, surely you should be doing that on the building. So let's uh, let's clear that out like that, because it has been made of a material that is not granite. It's Igneous Rock. That's a bit of a shame. If we go across like that, then suddenly she should be able to build all this over here. Oh, wait, we need to put it in at top priority, and then she should be able to build all this over here, as long as she's not trying to dig... Ah, uh, and that was the thing I was trying to avoid. The fact that she's just wet herself inside her suit means that we're going to have to try and take it off her before she gets inside the base, maybe over here, and then we can just kind of like clean it all up, especially as it's quite quite hot down here anyway. So that, that should work out. Don't do it, miss. Don't do it, miss. Oh, she's going to do it. Let's move her up here. Uh, we, we, we could all see her just building those tiles right over the top. That would have been um, hilarious, but not very helpful. Okay, here comes the last tile that needs to be put in place before Miss can just uh, run wherever it is she's going to run. And in fact, doesn't look like she's going to be doing much. Uh, I need to take this off of her right now. Okay, and we're going to get... Look, you see, you see that down there already? It's already an issue. Let's do that. See how far it spreads. Continue doing it okay that that should be fine uh and now that that suit's on the floor i'm gonna literally just go hey can we deliver the suit here thanks okay and, uh mimi and captain subs doing the mop job it is definitely a thing that needs to oh how did you get here let's attack that and get get rid of that out of the way oh so excited i just kept on stumbling over my words there no we will not allow you to be here uh, other people combat and fleeing that's fine that's fine where is miss right now okay she's gone and got herself suited up and ready for the showdown all right let's do it let's do it let's do it uh doesn't seem to be all that interested i mean i'm, I'm about that all right beautiful beautiful now we dead there Okay, we finished the pipe, and I think that means, yeah, we got some water flowing. That's going to end up in all of the bathroom over there. That's going to work out pretty well for us, actually. Uh, just making sure that we're not going to be taking out too much water from here. But you know what? That That is literally not ever going to be a thing, so I'm not that bothered by it. Uh, because... 
Oh, wait. I was about to say because we've got a constant water influx coming from over here. But of course, we've still got issues over here. Okay, so the hydrogen's getting to this pipe at about minus something. And the moment it hits these, we are warming it up quite substantially. And there's not there's not even really that much cold coming through. That is a shame. Hmm. Oh. Oh, what's going on over here? Everybody's using the bathrooms over here. I mean, I'm kind of about that. I'm not so sure about using the showers. Does this mean that our waters are starting to fill up? Okay, we have got a bit of a backfill on the go, and we definitely need to get all this sorted out now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's going to die or whether he's considered... I mean, he's, he's considered down in this bottom thing here. Oh, he's not, though, is he? Look, he's also considered up here. So it says he's confined, but... Is he gonna, is he gonna, like, suffocate? Is something gonna go wrong here? I don't know. Oh, look, he makes sand. I didn't know that. You literally feed him rot or polluted dirt. Ah. Oh. And then you get some shells for lime. Oh, we're, we're definitely gonna have to start working on, uh, on harvesting these guys, farming these guys. That, that shells for lime is definitely gonna be something we need to work on because the lime is for steel. And steel, as I'm sure you're aware, very handy space age material to work with. No, watching them clog the toilets every night is quite interesting. Okay, so we've had a small situation down in this kill chamber. We've got a bit of polluted uh, polluted dirt down here, and it keeps outgassing up polluted oxygen because there's not a high enough pressure of ethanol in there. That, yeah, ethanol is the stuff that we're doing. So I've gone and reworked this little crit sensor here so we can let all that gas out, and then I would also like all the ethanol that we've got around to be uh, emptied into here, please. Good work, Jelly. Immediately on it. All about it. Doesn't seem to actually be going anywhere, though. Okay, there's a little bit. All right. Wow, we've got a little bit of a situation developing here. A lot of the ethanol got pushed off over the side. I was kind of expecting that, but I didn't think... You remember when we made that saltwater slide that went all the way down to our saltwater pit? Yeah, well, now we've got a pipe full of ethanol here. That is not what we want. It's gone ahead and broken our desalinator here. Oh, it's horrible. We're going to have to try and deal with it um, just using duplicates, yeah. Hopefully, people come along and do all these jobs as soon as possible. Who is on it? No one at the moment. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, we got people coming in, but it's going to take some time. Okay, so I've moved, I've cancelled all the jobs from down here because it just seemed to be a never-ending battle and I've moved them up here where they seem to actually be able to make a bit of a dent into what's going on. Uh, I really need this ladder to be built here and maybe we need to turn down the priorities of everything else Then that ladder will allow us to get up to here where the real problem is. Uh, though uh, looking at it, it seems to be that most of the flow has kind of started to subside. Uh, definitely down here is, uh, is stopped as well so that that's going quite Quite well. Uh, maybe if I uh, M8 and do these, we can get someone else involved in a second, uh, and they can clean up behind these guys who are stemming the tide. Uh, I wonder if we can just keep stepping forwards like this. It doesn't seem to be a... Uh too effective. Oh, no, no, no. We've stemmed that little tide there. Okay. What happens if we move Luna up to here now? Is that going to be a little bit more effective? I don't mind leaving a little bit behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that... Hmm. No, actually, I'm not sure. I think we might have gone too far here. Maybe, maybe. How about... Let's, let's, let's try just getting rid of those, and then we'll take this, like, dripping edge down here. Uh, it seems to have worked wonders. I'm worried that we're going to get ahead of the actual fall here, so let's do that and see how that works. Yeah, okay, okay, that's something. I'm not sure if it's particularly great. We've still got some dribble over here, but I'm, I'm going to ignore that for a moment. We're, we're just dealing with the upstream issues, and the downstream can either sort itself out or take part in the later cleanup. Oh, what is what is this, guys? No, no, we can use your time much more efficiently than that. Stop doing that and get up to no. Ah, oh, downtime, downtime. New. Okay, we're actually at a part now where we are on top of the spillage. Luna and Mimi doing the majority of the work today, just kind of coming along and making sure that through the powers of their combined mopping that we get everything into some bottles. Once they're in bottles, of course, we've got various places where we can dump all these liquids, not least of which is in the kill zone over here, which is slowly filling up. I literally want to try and fill this up a little bit more so that with uh, any rot, rot uh, any food does rot in here, uh, any outgassing that happens just uh, gets suppressed because it's over over pressurized i don't know whether we've got a sort of similar situation over that side or not with the water it'll just have to be something that we uh, keep an eye on all right luna and mimi moving on to the next mopping jobs doing well doing amazing uh, yeah i think i think we've got this now i definitely feel like we've got this now 
Okay, so now that we've got the majority of the mopping done, the next thing we need to do is empty out all the liquids from this pipe. It's uh, it's no good. We cannot have this. All right, P9s should bring us into the situation we need to have. Uh, just going to mop up all the ethanol now, and we also need to turn up the priority of this. This Oh, it was already top priority. Nobody is working on it, though. Let's make that a thing. Oh, look, we have uh, we have overpressurized this. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, today we have got some crazy things that we need to do, and the mo the biggest, craziest thing I've got, bam, I need to get this, uh, this whole place swept up. Let's get to it, guys. Go, go, go. But there's a mod out there that allows you to uh, turn the siren noise off. I mean, it's quite good. It lets me know that it is a situation that is going down. But when it's like a big situation like this where I'm just going to leave it running for a little bit, I, I kind of wish I could just turn it down a bit. <laughs> well, that's one storage bin full. In fact, slightly over full. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I wonder how that actually happened there. Uh, moving on to the next one. A little bit worried that actually we've not got much of the stuff picked up down here. The amount of sedimentary rock that has been picked up has been quite prestigious. I want to turn that build on as well, just so hopefully uh, one of these guys, either uh, Miss Lionel, Mad Frank, Beautiful, will come along and build this so that we can also turn this into a super high priority. Hey guys, can you please pick everything up off the floor job? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, downtime has been cool, but we're so close. I'm just going to let this roll for a little bit longer. You can see that everybody, everybody has got involved now. So uh, we, we should be moving quite a lot of stuff at once. You can see uh, entire piles of sedimentary rock disappearing. This might even be the end of it once we get down to these last few. Then all we need is people that are going to go around and pick up things like the uh, the ethanol and such. But oh, no, is that is that actual end of slit? Oh, no, jelly's run out of oxygen. That is crazy. We've been doing this for so long that one of our guys has had to go and take his suit off because we worn through the supplies. Also, incidentally, that um, that salt water down below was actually most of the oxygen being used for the suits. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Oh, also, we're running out of power everywhere. But a lot of these places do have uh, oxygen. Yeah, we're getting still a steady supply of oxygen through here. So that's pretty nice. But... The, uh, the lack of power, very concerning, obviously. Very concerning. I believe it's because none of the duplicates got some time off to uh, go ahead and put any of the coal that we're producing into the generators here. So we're just going to have to live with it as it is for the, uh, for the cycle. Okay, so that's the filtration system set up. You can see that we've got it coming down. I've lost my, my numbers here. Uh, so the uh, the water goes in, people use the toilets, it comes back down, it gets sieved, and it gets dumped down here. You can see that it's not very nice down here, but that's fine. The last thing that we need to do to actually make this functional is, of course, hook up the whole power system. I'm going to pull these all up to the same height. Uh, hopefully that will help us out. And then we go, I'm going to go along the ladder. I think along the ladder would be the ideal way to do that. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Then as long as this all comes along and gets fixed, uh, we should then have a, a feedback system. I'm kind of hoping that as many, many more waters ends up getting dumped in here. Uh, I might even put a break in the in the power system right there because I definitely want to fill up the water to at least the full tile, if not two. And that's going to take a lot more toilet, uh, toilet cycles. Oh, it's taking about two cycles to drop this by 0.1 of a degree. That's that's not going to work for us, is it? Well, I think we're going to have to sort out a uh, a bit of a liquid cooling system over here. If I go 54, let's just see how long it takes to, 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 to knock back up to a great temperature. 52.6.7.6. Uh, oh, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. It's washing up and down in... Uh, interesting ways uh just hoping that we can fill up that and then it will I, I don't know when we're gonna snapshot actually is it gonna snapshot or is the uh the hydrogen gonna actually be able to keep us cool what's the hydrogen coming through here at now so that's minuses and then it starts doing some serious cooling down here and we're still sticking at 53 i mean that's gone up uh quite a bit but i mean a degree now an entire degree but that's not as bad as i thought it was going to be let's have a look and see what the temperatures are over here we've got like 58 and 60s so the fact that we're coming through and only raising one degree oh i need to turn this back on i turned it off because of the oh oh yeah okay i'll take that uh, i turned it off because of all the ethanol that we had down there where are you jelly are you involved are you close are you going to be able to do this before you guys go to sleep uh, i i hope so I sure do hope so. 
All right, here comes Jelly to turn that pump back on, and that is incredibly important. And one, one might say critically important. Let's watch some of this uh, come up to here, because of course, as you can see, once we go through the desalinator, uh, the salt water gets turned into regular water, at which point it goes through this kind of complicated um, validation system that just makes sure that we are indeed pumping the right systems into here. We turn that into oxygen and hydrogen, which then gets pumped up into the base and the atmospheric suits via this line only over here so that was actually a very important system that we needed to make sure was working because uh we seem to be at the point where we've only got three atmospheric suits working and that is not going to do us we want to move on with this but we have just fixed that and with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time when we're going to finish off this filtration system it is literally working all we need to do is like run for enough cycles to get enough liquids down the bottom maybe i'll even set up uh, an auto uh, bottler down here so that we can end up putting more liquids in here as quick as possible. I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!